Hi, in this series, I will show you how to program FPGAs with our language VHDP. I first delete this part of the default code because in this video, we only want to focus on simply how to use IOs for the FPGA. In the brackets of the main, you declare the pins of your FPGA and in the curly brackets, you then write your code how these IOs should behave. You can see there's already an LED defined. For that, you have to declare the name, the IO direction, the data type, and you can set an additional value with this common. The standard logic data type includes one and zero, but also other values an input could have. Now, we want to add a button with that we can control the LED. This is an input and it also takes the data type standard logic. But you can see there are also other data types you can choose, like a Boolean, an integer, a natural for only positive numbers, an unsigned that consists of multiple bits that form a positive number or the standard logic vector that consists of multiple standard logic values. I now write LED equals and now the IDE corrected me because in VHDL and therefore also VHDP you have to write this less than or equal sign to set a value. Now I can write button. So every time I now press the button and the value changes from 0 to 1, the LED will go on. Now, I want to show you how to save values. I therefore create a signal, name it LED underscore RAG, use the data type standard logic and set the default value 0. I can now write LED underscore REG equals not button. And I set LED to LED underscore REG. So every time the button is pressed, LED underscore REG is now 0 instead of 1. The advantage of this code is that if you want to check if the LED is on in your code, you can now read the value of LED underscore REG. The pin LED instead is an output and you cannot read its value. In the next video, I will show you more advanced data types, how to convert between data types and constants, so you know everything about signals before we use them to write our code.